everyone, so today's video I'm going to be doing a best monthly hair video for the month of July. I just realised it started pouring down the rain. Great, that's July for you in Wales. Okay, so anyway, um, I'm going to be doing a kind of review and demo of the Babyliss Curl Secret. I've already pre-filmed, this is what it looks like once it is done. Um, I'm going to go through everything and anything you need to know about this thing. <laughs> so go and watch it if you want to find out more. So this is what it looks like. Um, it's quite heavy actually, <laughs> that's the first thing you probably noticed about it. It looks a little bit scary I would say. Um, I haven't got it plugged in or anything but it's still quite warm. Um, but yeah, it looks like this. Obviously you have quite a long cable as well, which is good because you kind of need a long cable for this one. Um, so yeah, as I said, it's from Bliss. I can't remember the exact price, so I'll annotate it here. And I'll leave links below if you want to go and buy this. Um, but I'm going to go through um, how you kind of use it first and then I'll get into what I think of it. So. Um, it comes with three settings, so it comes with three, that. it comes with two heat settings, so you've got them just on the one, and then you've got one and two, and then it comes with three, um, how do you describe those sort of counts, so it um, has eight, ten and twelve, so like how many seconds I suppose. Now to be honest, I know I put them, I always have it on the highest heat, so number two, and then I always put it on twelve. 12 is what I did to create this look, um, but obviously 8 you're going to kind of get more looser waves and 10, I would say 10 and 12 are quite similar, um, sometimes like for smaller parts I'll put it on 10 and the big ones I'll put it on 12, um, but yeah normally, I mean all three will kind of give you the same sort of wave but not as sort of curly, so that is that explained. Um, so as I said, I always know we put this on the highest on each, so I do like everything, but um, yes. So then basically what you do is making sure that this bit here, you can see here, it does say important, always use this side facing towards the head, so you always want to have it like that, or like that. Um, you're going to basically take a piece of hair, Pop it in, so wherever you want it to start, and then basically just going to clamp it down. And then hold it for the amount of seconds it is, and then it'll do like a bleep 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 when it is done. Um, so you will know. And yeah. only let it go when it's finished bleeping and um, so it would be like bleep 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 and then the last one will be like bleep 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 um, and then you just literally just take it out and it all the curl should just normally just fall out of it um so that is kind of how you use it to be honest it's not that hard to get um the hang of i mean it'll probably take quite a few goes until you really are able to do the whole head but um, yeah, it's not that difficult. It's meant to be quite easy to use. So it is just quite heavy, that's all. And then you just have to clamp it in, it'll suck your hair in, and we'll curl it basically. So inside, I think this bit here is where like the curl goes, and then it just kind of wraps it around. It's like wrapping it around to kind of a roller or something. But obviously it's taking the hair in for you and doing that for you. Um, so it is quite foolproof to be honest. Um, so that is kind of how you actually use it, what it looks like and everything. So it's purple, looks like this. This little red thing here, this will, um, when it's heating up, it will kind of flash and then it'll stop flashing when it's ready. Um, so obviously leave it to heat up before you do anything. And yeah, so as long as you remember to put this side against your head, you're good to go. Okay, so this is kind of what it looks like after I've kind of done my whole head. I think it's quite kind of messy um, style and I think this is right, but I think it kind of alternates curls. Like when once you do one curl, I do another curl of it another way. Um, which I actually do quite like because it does give a kind of messy, non-uniform 
waves and curls. Um, another thing I really, really love. love, love, love Another thing I really, really love about this product is that it gives you loads of volume. Like, there's a lot of volume in my hair at the moment, um, which I love, and that volume was kind of going to stay with you through the whole day of wearing these curls at night or whatever. Um, which I really like because sometimes when you curl your hair, it doesn't. The volume doesn't really stay in your hair for very long. Or well, mine it doesn't anyway. Um, so that's what I really like about this, and because you kind of hold it in an angle, it's going to create more volume as well which again I really like. So I'm going to give you a little bit of a backstory to how I actually got the curler. So um, I got this curler for Christmas 2013. I was very, very pleased by it, was very lucky to get um, as a present. So yeah, I received that and I used it on Christmas Day and I loved it. And then um, I started using it a few more times and realised there was something wrong with it because it basically would overheat and it just the bleep noise it makes at the end that was like a constant bleep or it was awful and I thought okay this can't be right like I've do like half my hair and then this bleep came and you had no chance of doing the rest of your hair after that bleep was there so um anyway I contacted I think it's Con Air um it's like the same sort of thing as Babyliss and um I first of all rang them and they said, oh, you just need to try this. Anyway, it didn't work, so I emailed them and then they said it's false too. So anyway, I returned that and then got a new one and this one is absolutely fine. It doesn't do that bleep thing. It was really, really weird. It was kind of like overheating. So anyway, that was my little um, thing that happened. <laughs> um, but then I got this one and it's been absolutely fine. I haven't had any other problems with this. That was the only thing I would kind of disagree with. This is meant to be a really quick and easy way of curling your hair. Now, I don't think it's quite quick and easy. Um, it is quite easy to do, but it's not quick because you have to take really quite small sections of your hair because if you try and take something big, it just it's going to cut out like it won't actually work. So you do have to take quite small sections, which it can be quite annoying because it takes ages to do your whole head. Um, I don't have a lot of hair either, and on me it does take, I'd say about half an hour it probably took me this morning, um, which is quite long, you know, when you consider it's meant to be quite quick and easy to do, but I, I do, seeing that, I do really like it, I will spend the time to curl my hair with it, um, but I always seem to sort of be going for other curlers sometimes over this one because it does take quite a long time to do. But as I said, I mean, I can work around that because I do quite like the curls it gives. Um, I think my favourite thing is the volume it gives because I don't have volume like this with any other sort of curling products. So that's what I really like about this. Um, I forgot to mention it comes with a, um, what's this called? Safety heat proof mat thing um, with a little um, strap so you can just strap it around it. I always use this and I use this to pop it on um, when I'm curling my hair and then it just comes with a um, bag that you put it in. I always store that in there um, once I'm done and it's cooled down and everything. Um, so yeah, overall I really do quite like this but it's just the problem that it does take so long. Um, I would definitely recommend it but for the price, I mean, it is expensive. Um, so it just depends whether you are going to use it a lot. If you're going to use it a lot, then I would definitely recommend it. And to be honest, you could just sort of... Um, I also don't know how it's going to work on longer hair because I think you would probably have to start a bit further down on longer hair. Um, so you couldn't really kind of go for the root or anything because it just won't be able to take up all the hair into the um, kind of barrel thing. Um, so that would be my only thing that if you do have long hair, I'm not really that sure how it's going to work on it. Um, I've never tried on anyone with long hair, so I don't know. Um, but on my length hair, I kind of have normally five straight hair, it's kind of down to about here. Um, so overall, I definitely recommend this. It just does take a little while to do and it is um, quite expensive. But um, it is really easy and really foolproof. So if you hate curling your hair by yourself, all you have to do is suck it in, it, it curls it for you, it literally does everything. Um, so if you aren't that good at curling your hair, then I would definitely recommend it. 
Um, but yeah, let me know if you tried this or if you want to buy it or anything or if you have any further questions, leave them in the comments below. And I think that's it for this video. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in my next one. Bye.